Good morning everyone, welcome to session 2. Dear students, in this session we are going to be discussing about meiosis. In last session, already we discussed about mitosis, it is a type of uh, cell division, equational cell division. The parental cells gives rise to two daughter cells, two similar cells which have equal number of chromosomes as compared to parental cell. Here, meiosis is also a type of cell division which is occurring in diploid cell which is gives rise to four haploid cells. These are all daughter cells. So these daughter cells have half such of chromosomes. That's why the meiosis is also called reductional division. These meiosis occur in reproductive cells uh, and during the process of gametogenesis and hoogenesis. And these meiosis first proposed by J.B. Farmer and J.E. Moore in the year of 1905. And the meiosis takes place in uh, two types. One is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In meiosis 1, here the parental cell gives rise to two daughter cells which are haploid. And the meiosis 1 is followed by the substages that is called prophase 1 metaphase 1 and anaphase 1, telophase 1 and cytokinesis 1. And again meiosis 2 includes prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2 and telophase 2 and cytokinesis 2. The first one is meiosis 1. So here the diploid cells gives rise to two daughter cells. Diploid which means parental cell gives rise to two daughter cells. So these daughter cells are haploid. Yes, this meiosis 1 is subdivided into prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 and telophase 1. But based on chromosomal behavior in prophase 1 we can observe the substages like leptotin, zygotin, pacotin, diplotin and diakinesis. So these are all the stages comes under prophase 1. So based on chromosomal behavior. In these uh, substages we can observe the homologous chromosomes are paired that is called synapses and we can observe the synaptimal complex and the chiasmata and crossing over takes place between two chromosomes which means it will change the genetic material. So this all comes under substages of prophase 1. Yes, let us study the prophase 1. Yes. Before studying the prophase, we should know about interface. See here, the chromosomes are coiled in nature and long thread-like structure. In prophase 1 stages, which means leptotin, uh, zygotin and pacotin, diplotin and diakinesis, we can observe uh, different structure of chromosomes. Yes, here in leptotin, the chromosomes are thin and long and presence of nucleus, the nucleus is enlarged. Nucleus is enlarged and presence of asters. See this is all about a leptotin. Here the chromosomes are thin and long and presence of nucleus, the nucleus is enlarged and presence of asters. The next one is zygotin. Zygotin is also called zygonema. Zygotin is also called zygonema. Here, the similar chromosomes are start pairing to each other. The pairing of chromosomes is called synapsis. Is called synapsis. Yes. The synapsis uh, takes place with the help of complex structure that is called synaptimal complex. It's called synaptimal complex. Yes. yes, the paired chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes. Homologous chromosomes uh, which means there are two chromosomes, one is related to maternal, the another one is uh, related to paternal. See, these uh, paired chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes and each pair of homologous chromosomes is called bivalent. This is all about zygotin. Yes, in zygotin, see here, 
the chromosomes are which means the similar chromosomes are paired is called a synapsis with the help of complex structure that is called a synaptimal complex and and the paired chromosomes are called homologous chromosomes each pair of homologous chromosomes is called a bivalent so this is called synaptimal complex yes the next one is uh, pachytin is also called pachynema it is the longest phase here the bivalent chromosomes are split into two similar chromatids and this is called tetrad and this stage is uh, characterized by the appearance of recombination nodule at which crossing over takes place crossing over which means exchange of genetic material between non sister chromatids of two homologous chromosomes by the help of enzyme that enzyme is called recombinase the recombination enzyme which is leads to recombination of genetic material on homologous chromosomes this is all about pachytin yes pachytin is also called a pachynema is the longest phase in prophase 1 and here the bivalent chromosomes are split into two similar chromatids and this stage is called tetrad tetrad and this is characterized by the appearance of recombination nodule at which crossing over occur so crossing over which means uh, exchange of genetic material between non sister chromatids of two homologous chromosomes by the help of enzyme the enzyme is called recombinase is this recombinase enzyme which lead to recombination of uh, genetic material on homologous chromosomes recombination is completed at the end of pachytin yes the next one is uh, diplotin is also called a diplonema see here the dissolution of uh, synaptimal complex occur so which means the attraction between two homologous chromosomes are disappear and these homologous chromosomes are which means the recombined homologous chromosomes are separated each other except at the point it is called crossing over except at the point crossing over so that point form a x shaped chromosomes that is called chiasmata or chiasma this is all about a diplotin here dissolution of synaptimal complex occur and the attraction between two homologous chromosomes are disappear these homologous chromosomes the recombined homologous chromosomes are separated each other except at the point crossing over so it form a x shaped chromosomes the point is called chiasmata or chiasma the last one is diakinesis after diplotin the in diakinesis the chiasmata undergoes terminalization terminalization of chiasmata in homologous chromosomes and here the spindle fibers are formed in each poles which is helps to separate the homologous chromosomes and the nucleus and the nuclear envelope are disappeared this is all about diakinesis yes in diakinesis terminalization of chiasmata in homologous chromosomes and formation of spindle fibers in each poles which is helps to separation of homologous chromosomes and the nuclear envelope and the nucleus is disappeared this is all about prophase 1 substages the next one is metaphase 1 in metaphase 1 the spindle fibers are completely formed and these spindle fibers are attached to centromere of the homologous chromosomes and all homologous chromosomes are aggregated towards center of the cell to form a equatorial plate or metaphase plate this is all about metaphase 1 in anaphase the homologous chromosomes are separated by the help of spindle fibers and these uh, homologous chromosomes are moved towards opposite poles these uh, separated chromosomes are called dyad each dyad consists of two chromatids which is attached to centromere finally each poles contain two groups of chromosomes this is all about anaphase see here the homologous chromosomes are get separated and moving towards the each poles and that separated homologous chromosomes is called dyad or also called univalent chromosomes each dyad consists of two chromatids attached to centromere finally each poles has 
two groups of chromosomes. Yes, so the last one is telophase. Yes, in telophase one, the nuclear membrane and nucleuses are reappeared, which helps to formation of two haploid nuclei. And construction takes place in middle, and and construction takes place in middle, which means in cytoplasm, which helps to divide the two equal daughter cells. This is all about telophase one. Yes, the dear students, in this session we had discussed about meiosis is a type of cell division. It's also called a reductional division because of the daughter cells have only offset of chromosomes compared to parental or diploid cells. Meiosis takes place in two types. One is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In meiosis 1, the parental cell divided into two daughter cells. And meiosis 1 have four stages. There is prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 and telophase 1. Again, in prophase, based on chromosomal behavior, we divided the phases that is called leptotin, zygotin, pacotin, diplotin, and diakinesis. And after diakinesis, the metaphase one, here the chromosomes, homologous chromosomes are aggregated towards center of the cells. Yes. And in anaphase, the bivalent chromosomes are separated, that is called dyads. And in telophase, Construction takes place, the appearance of nuclear membrane and nucleus and disappearance of spindle fibers. And construction takes place at the middle, which means the cytoplasm, which helps to divide the and formation of the two daughter cells. Thank you.